I'm gonna teach you how to lose your belly fat without spending hours in the gym, without taking away your carbs. So if you are somebody that's dealing with hormonal issues, belly fat, pre-type 2 diabetes, you have got to listen to this. So belly fat indicates you have hormonal issues. So insulin is an anabolic hormone. That means it builds both muscle and fat tissue. So above all, it's a storage hormone. It stores sugar, vitamins, and fats for later use. So you release insulin in response to any rise in blood sugar, whether it's due to eating or it's due to stress. So food is converted into glucose, blood sugar. Blood sugar levels rise. The pancreas makes insulin. Blood carries glucose and insulin to every cell in the body. Insulin acts like a key to open those cells. Cells absorb that glucose from the blood. So here's the issue. We have been taught for so many years to eat smaller, more frequent meals. The problem is it's keeping your insulin elevated. So then it's causing you to store more and more and more fat. So you're either going to be a sugar burner or a fat burner. The blood sugar roller coaster. This is exactly what happens when you're eating all the time. You eat that carby sugary breakfast. Your blood sugar spikes. You're feeling energized and then you have a crash. So what do you do? You reach for another snack. Your insulin is shuttling sugar from the blood and sends it to the cells. So then you have another spike, another crash, another spike, low blood sugar. You're hangry. You have mood swings, sugar cravings, energy crashes, and depression. So now let's talk about fasting. 16-8 is a great ideal for fasting. What do I mean by that? 16 hours from dinner till your next meal the next day. Here's what happens when you fast. You have great brain activity, heart health, weight loss, possible cancer prevention, reversal of type 2 diabetes, reduction of inflammation. And this is how it works. You're done eating at night. You start fasting at 8 p.m. At midnight, your blood sugar normalizes. 2 a.m., insulin levels drop. 4 a.m., glucagon is released. 6 a.m., digestive system resets. You wake up in that fasting mode. If you can give that extra four hours to about 16 hours, then your body's really ramping up for fat burning, increasing HGH. So even with decades of my professional background, I have trouble intermittent fasting. So I use two tools that help me with that fasting. I've been able to reverse my type 2 diabetes. I've been able to fix my diverticulitis. I've been able to fix my acid reflux, among other things. And this is a great tool to burning fat for fuel.